Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Hokies on the back camera. It is a cold Wednesday morning. I cannot figure out why it's cold, then it's warm, then it's cold, then it's warm. But it's, I'm like, God. be 76 tomorrow, 77. <sighs> Couldn't find my jacket because I think <laughs> I left it in my trunk with all the stuff. I was like, man, I, I don't need this today. Filming yesterday, come out this morning. Oh, where's my jacket? Where's my jacket? Well, I did that yesterday. It's freezing. Me and Hope came, went out to go eat, and I went. What the hell's going on here? Hey, but no, then he explained it's getting cold, and I went, okay. I didn't know that. Well, today is <coughs> Wednesday, and I think it is Wednesday, right? Yes. Yeah. Today is Wednesday. The lottery now for the Powerball is two dollars now they had the power play but it's two dollars now and it starts at 40 million do you think that's a big scam i know it is i know it is I, the, the teachers aren't making any more than they were than they did back when it started right i mean right there, there are a lot of new schools yeah i will yep, say yep, that yep. there's a new school on every corner seems like but it ain't no good unless you're paying the people that work there to do their job. And I'm going to tell you what. Ain't no way I'd sign up to do that with the way the kids are today. Teach. Ain't no way I'd be a high school teacher and make $30,000 a year. Well, I think it's back to the old idea of that's my passion. I want to help. I'm not about money. Because if you're about money, you're in the wrong field. Well, exactly. You know. <clears throat> Because teachers make no money, policemen don't make a lot of money, firemen, why are we not paying those guys bukus of money, 50, 100 grand a year? 100 grand a year to be an English teacher. Because trust me, nowadays, 100 grand a year still don't teach a lot of these morons English, proper English. I'm one of my, but my teachers. What it is, what it is you're talking about? What you talking about? You know what it is with kids <coughs> nowadays? Lack of respect. No respect. You know what? I, no. I, it, it, me and you disagree a lot, but then we had the same knuckleheads when we were in school. We had the same ones who didn't care to be there. I mean, so I they just weren't just rude. Wasn't, I guess it wasn't. <clears throat> I guess it just wasn't as publicized because of the internet and the news. You only heard of the the horrible things, but you, you're probably right. right there. I still just think seeing kids nowadays is a lack of respect. You know. Just my opinion of their beating. Hokey? Yes. Hey, thanks for that. Awesome. Thanks for that. I mean, no, that, it starts that at home. made the show. So, thanks to that, uh, Ollie, the weather guy from family. I was looking at the thing. There's so many, th there's so many <laughs> things messed up. Romney comes out, and, of course, when you run for president, they start digging up all this stuff. He pays 15% taxes. His taxes are 15%. That is less than our military soldiers. I mean, how do, you, how do you explain that? He's worth millions upon I millions. I don't, I don't think they even, <coughs> they don't, they just want to be, hey. We have any Mormon fans? They just want to be famous. They don't want to lead. They don't want to do anything. They just want to stay in the public eye. Same guy runs all the time. That's my, they just want to squeeze every last eye. Uh, hey, man, just get me, let me people see me. Yeah. I ain't gonna win. I ain't gonna win. No chance. Uh, he got Staying chances. I, I don't know who might win this this go round. <clears throat> but uh, you way back there, ain't you? Hope. Well, see, I thought maybe if you wanted to try out the futon <coughs> on the air, be like the Tonight Show couch. It's kind of dark, I think, but I can sit over here yeah. and go. Hey, Russell went and saw contraband. I saw contraband. Mo talked about contraband, and and and. Hulk and, and Russell watch a lot more trailers than me, but have you seen the trailer for uh, the that works. Demi Padre? No, I've not seen that trailer. It is. Will Ferrell's new movie. Oh, I heard about that. In Spanish. <laughs> I heard about that. He's, the whole movie it's in Spanish? Not all of it, but it's subtitled. Uh, you just have to see it. They say it is, is the greatest masterpiece ever, and it's coming to America. What about the artist, Hokey? I haven't seen the artist. I got asked about that last night. My prediction is that's the one that kills the Oscar. I agree. It just Silent it. movie. 
Yeah. I mean, it's he, already, won, he won Best Actor. Right. It'll, it'll win Best Actor. It'll win Best Picture. It'll probably win, probably won't win Director. Somebody American will probably win that. But, yeah, it'll kill it at the Oscars. I will, I will beg to differ. If there's one movie that beats it, and actor and stuff, it'll be The Descendants. Just because it's jo somehow George Clooney keeps winning. <clears throat> he won at the Globes. But the Oscars, they love arty movies. Yeah, they like feeling important. And then important. he came out and said, Brad Pitt, you're a wonderful man. Thanks for all you do in all these countries. And he mentioned the other guy for having a big slong and taking the, no the frontal nudity out of George Clooney's hands from now on. Hey. He said, but if mine was that big, I wouldn't wear clothes either. <laughs> and I went. Well, Ricky Gervais don't have anything to worry about now. He just went, you could just stand up there and play golf, couldn't you? That's what Clooney said. Uh, no, you weren't there. I cannot believe that I just I don't understand the movies. What what I don't understand why we don't get anything, you know, movies that make a lot of money should be the ones that win, to me. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, man, that's <clears throat> what I think. Nah, because then, nah. Because that's one all everybody's seeing. Who, you know, the Americans don't. I mean, we're people Well, by that case, vote. Smoking the Bandit should have killed at the Oscars. You dang right it should have. <laughs> in 1977? Because that movie was like made a ton of money, but I mean, nah, come I on, get really? It. That's just, yeah, it's hard for me to, you know, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll never see the artist unless it happens to come on HBO. And then I probably won't even It's watch a musical. It. But that's not yeah, your kind just, of movie It's not anyway. singing musical. It's just... Dee -dee 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 -dee. Here's the thing. If the artist made... Five hundred million at the box office. You still would not see it. It's not your type of movie yeah, at all. Right, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You know. You're right. You're right. Good call. Good call. Good that call. was good. So Super Bowl, September, uh, February fifth. <clears throat> Super Bowl ads. Four, five new ones. Dan and yogurt. Right. Trying to get people to eat more healthy. Century Twenty One. Don't know why. Lexus, Acura, and H and M Apparel. Ever heard of H&M? I don't think nope. they have. Homemade? I don't, I don't know, but it's uh, David Beckham is the, is the man in it. Oh. They, their underwear start at $13 a pair. Yeah. So I guess they got some money from somewhere. Wonder what the ads are going <coughs> to run this year. Wonder how much. Oh, what was it what, last year? 3.5 3, or yeah, something? Yeah, 3 something. What was something. your favorite all-time Super Bowl commercial? Oh. Does the Britney Spears Pepsi one count? No, it wasn't in the Super yeah. Bowl, was it? That was, yeah, that was, was. Super Bowl. I'm going to go with the, the Budweiser <laughs> Frogs, man. When they, when they came out, it changed the whole... I can't even... It changed the whole thought process of Super Bowl commercials because that was funny. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, that, that was good, that was good. Yeah, that's tough, that's a tough... There's been so many good ones, that's tough. I wish somebody we know would win the Doritos. That'd be cool, like Larry Jack or Jose or somebody. That did the Doritos. Doing those. Yeah. They didn't even make the finals, though. So the three people that made the finals were the three people that made it last year, is what uh, Mikey, uh, referee Mike was saying, that were, that were in the, the top deal. Nobody knew. Last year was the guy with it on his fingers and thumbs, and he goes, you're going to finish that, and he sucks it, remember? And then the other one was the workout. Was it the workout one? Yeah, I, th I think so. <coughs> they, they, they showed that, yeah. The licking the fingers I thought was pretty funny, but the other ones I didn't, I didn't think so. We watch TV. Oh. Russell watch a lot of TV. Shark Tank is back. I know. I'm Got pumped. it taped it. Friday. If you hadn't watched it, Mr. Bill Walton's going to be on there helping pitch a program. Hoke, have you ever watched it? No. Well, no, Shark I've seen part. Tank yeah, Shark is Tank. Yeah. Awesome. Shark Tank is the. That is so. That is an awesome show. The cat's me out. That is so awesome. Also, <laughs> and I tell you what, Shark Tank does. It teaches you to know your product before you get in there, so they can bash you. That's what's awesome. They Especially bash Kevin. you, bash you, bash you if you don't know your your stuff. So what that's uh good. American Idol starts tonight too. I'm pumped about that. Is Hostess going out of business? Like Twinkies and Ding Dongs and stuff? God, I hope not. <laughs> no idea. I mean if I heard we need that, a bailout if that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that they're going out of business. <laughs> that they've run it the, 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 the CEOs and everybody has run it in the ground and quit caring about it and now they're in trouble. I did not know that. Shame on him. Sons of a mother. Yeah. <laughs> like that guy who does that Alico bank, or not Alico, but the bank, Amazon, the guy who lost $6 billion yesterday. 
or Monday, and now he went from rags to riches in one day. From his, they didn't all lose it in one day, but that's what it all happened. It's oh, he went from riches to rags. Yes, riches to rags. He flipped his story around. <laughs> he went the other way. <clears throat> American Idol starts tonight, man. If you like it, oh, it is on. I'm so excited. I will be taping that to watch the worst of the worst. Steven Tyler, man. He's the man. He's funny. He is the man. He is the man. You got anything else? Uh, yeah. One yeah. last. Uh, all right. One last story before I, I give you somebody new on the wanted list. Jeopardy. Ooh, like that. Ready? Y'all ready for the question? Mm-hmm. Blow to the back of the neck, named from what animal? Well, one contestant named Donkey Punch. <laughs> <laughs> The correct answer is rabbit, but he said donkey, and so it's a viral hit now. <laughs> That's the that is the newlywed game when, where's the best place you know the, <clears throat> to make whoopee? Yeah, in the butt. That's when he said it. They could not. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Who's on our wanted list? I I don't know. I'm just gonna post it. They sent me a whole list. I'm gonna list them all. So if you know them, give Terry a call. 254-754-1603. Best quote of the night I heard last night. I walked into the uh, skinnies over there on the corner of Valley Mills and New Road. I was getting a Mountain Dew and a, my diet Mountain Dew and lottery, and the girl walks up behind me and says, y'all have applications? And the lady there goes, yes, we do. Do y'all hire felons? She goes, I don't know. Man, ain't nobody hiring felons these days. <laughs> Probably don't want to go to jail if you want a job, man. So we'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. Hokies on the back camera. Out of here.